Hello, everybody. Why are you laughing? Because this is funny. Positive vibes only. Uh, we not. We hey. don't have all night. We just beginning and you already. That's cool. I just had to put that in there real quick. I just love her so much. Look at her. She's just so beautiful. Got her, go. little, got her little hair on fleek. Go on down. Scott Marie, go lay down, baby. Get in the bed. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing something a little bit different than what I usually do. And I am introducing you all to my husband. This is Terrell. Babe, introduce yourself. Hey, what's going on? My name is uh, T. Will, but you can just call me T. Will. And uh, yeah, that's my wife right here. My angel on earth. So I'm doing something I don't normally do. I'm letting you all in just a little bit, get to know Desiree just a little bit better. And the closest person to me would be him. So today we're actually going to be filming the husband tag. And if you don't know what that is, I'm going to be asking my husband a series of questions and he does not know what those questions are. And he has to answer honestly, of course. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an honest guy, you dig what I'm saying? So if you're interested in getting to know us just a little bit better, then keep on watching. Now the first She's about to ask me all these random questions. They're very random. Yeah, that's cool. Get ready. I'm with all that. All right. Yeah. The first question, when did we meet? Uh, we first met, um, I was out eating by myself. I do a lot of things by myself. Uh, it's very peaceful, confident in who I am. You did what I'm saying? So we was out, I was, we was out eating and uh, we just so happened to uh, get the same establishment at the same time. Two of her best friends I went to college with at the uh, University of Arkansas in Fayetteville. And, um, you know, as they were leaving, you know, we kind of saw one another and uh, they introduced me to her. And uh, we exchanged business cards. You know, she's yeah. she a uh, stylist, a, life, a professional cosmetologist, and I'm a uh, barber stylist. So with that, uh, you know, that created some common ground. If I can remember right, my my meal was on point too. And so was Desiree. But you didn't even, we wasn't checking for each other. It's cool. At that point in time. Yeah, but it was all uh, guys timing though. So, you know, two you, years later, we uh, married with a couple of kids. Yes. Yeah, so but she we, right though, at that time I was cool and like I was just on my grind. I uh, was focusing on, 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 you know, just continue to build and grow spiritually, uh, financially, and just my business state of mind. I was locked in, so I really wasn't digging or too much worried about too many uh, females at the time. Just focused on on me, self growth. And we were both on the same way yeah. at that point in time. So although we met each other and exchanged business cards simply because we're in the same industry, uh, nothing more, nothing less. We were not just right off the bat, interested in one another. Yeah, but it seemed like after that day though, we just kind of kept crossing paths mm -hmm. and stuff. So uh, like I said, one thing led to another. And, uh, Here we are. Yeah, I got me a, uh, got me a good thing. <laughs> Show you right. What was your first opinion of me? Um, off, off top, I, you know, I've been around the world, man. I, I, done, I done networked and met many people. So I just feel like uh, that you were very, much of a woman, you a real black queen. So that was like my first opinion of you, uh, my first perspective. You know, one once we really got to talk and our first real conversation. I said she she got she got a she got a level head on her shoulders and uh, you know she knows what she want out of life and what she expect out of life. So that made me respect you even more just to realize uh, and recognize that you were, uh, you know, you was really organized and, and you know had your had your stuff together. So. Indeed. Yeah, real black queen, you dig? Cause you gotta come correct, you know what I'm saying? Messing with T Will, like. But that's a whole nother story. And she did that, that's why I married her. Let me see, that's why I put this ring, put that little ring on, <laughs> on her finger. <laughs> you a mess. <laughs> when did you know I was the one? I say when we first started talking, like right before we started dating, uh -huh. um, I noticed stuff around your apartment and it gave me a, a better understanding for who you are and uh, what you stand for. And you had, you know, your, your Bible and your journals, um, you know, around. 
And I noticed that you, you know, you talked about God a lot. So uh, just having that common ground, having having Jesus, you know, in the middle of the relationship, I know how important it is for um, you know, young couple, oldest couples, you know, uh, you all, know all the couples, all the, couples, all yeah, the friendships, yeah. all the relationships. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have that solid rock. So absolutely, uh, that was like the most appealing and attractive thing to me. Just you know, your relationship with, with, with God and um, just how much you love Jesus. And not only, you know, you, you talk about it, but you walk the walk too. So, you know, uh, you got to have application, you know, with the stuff you're learning and, and, you know, putting on. So, yeah. Very good. Yeah, when I get to ask some questions. You don't get to ask nothing. Oh, this is an interrogation, <laughs> bro. You don't get to ask nothing. Dang. You a guest on, on my channel, babe. Man, bro, she first 48 now, <laughs> the, the young OG, bro. <laughs> She always be interrogating me anyways. I'm used to it. Okay, well then let's let's roll. Ask me a thousand questions, bro. When did we get married? Well, you know, I got uh two answers to that. I got married twice to one woman. But um our official wedding date we will be wedding. April twenty second. 2017. Okay, now. Yeah, no. that was a glorious day. But like I tell her all the time, since we first met, I've been married to her. So, oh, you I've do been say married. that? Yeah, I say that all the time. <laughs> I've been married. That's how I be. That's how I was moved since day one. And I say, you know what I'm saying? we were not married until <laughs> April 22nd, 2017. Man, when a man know, he know. I've been married. No, we was married. I've been locked in. <laughs> we got married when we stood in front of God and our family and friends and took those vows. That's when we were married. Okay. Before that, that was dating. Like I said, I've been married. How did you propose? It was like a, it was like a movie. It was like a movie. On the slick. And that wasn't even planned, but uh, I put a lot of thought into it. Um, first off, I made the investment. I had to go get that ring. You did what I'm saying? Fellas, off top. If you know you got a great woman, man, don't let the ring stop you. Like, you know, Invest, buy something nice, but it don't gotta cost you five, ten, twenty thousand dollars. You know, it's all about the action. It's all about the thought. You know, but of course, make sure it look nice. And uh, you know, I had took notes. We had kind of been around different places, and I noticed what kind of jewelry she liked, what kind of styles and stuff. So first off, I got I got the ring, um, prayed over the ring, uh, and then I never knew you prayed over. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. That was uh that was before actually I purchased it, but I had to pray over the ring though, because yeah, you know, that's how that's how I ordered. But um back to the question. Uh, it was like a rainy night, man. We was out downtown Little Rock walking around and um, you know, we had just finished up with a with a day night. And um they had the bridge yeah, down there. Day. Yeah, that was Day. Mm -hmm. So they got the bridge down there. Um and we took a took a walk on the bridge. And it was perfect because it was like nobody on the bridge. They had the lights going, all the different colors and stuff. And uh, yeah, and I kind of started getting down on the knee. She was looking at me like, boy, what you doing? She thought I was playing. <laughs> but uh, I was serious about, about my about my move of uh, making Desiree Miss Williams. So I got down on the knee, you know, said a couple good words, nice words, um, and, and popped the question. Say yes. I say yes. But you missed a bunch of stuff in this story, though. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> but I know that we prayed, too, once we... Uh, we did pray. Yeah, it was after, right? Yeah, it was after. Yeah. yeah so once you said yes... Uh, we prayed in the rain. Yeah, we prayed in the rain. <laughs> but uh, we prayed, you know, over over, over our journey uh, to becoming uh, coming one. Mm -hmm. and I feel like uh, a lot of our prayers, they... Uh, they, uh, they manifest all the time. And that's, that's that's encouraging. That's motivating for myself and, you know, I know for Desiree as well. But just us as a couple, a lot of stuff that we, uh, you know, we meditate on and we focus on and pray on. Uh, and we, uh, we see a lot of fruit, you know, from my, from my labor and um, a lot of uh, affirmations and um, things like that. So, yeah, so that's how I proposed. How many children did I want before marriage? She said she wanted zero children. I didn't want no kids. I did not, like, I'm 
Okay, by nature, I am not a kid's person. Like, kids don't fool with me and I don't fool with kids and I'm okay with it. But when I met him, I was like, okay, I can have a couple of his babies. And I have had a couple of your babies. Yep, and we're gonna have a couple more in, in due time. Yep. I'm still talking to God about that. Yes, sir. Okay, so what does my family think of you? I feel like they um they feel and think of me as a very respectful young man, solid gentleman, and um uh, and like a young OG. <laughs> Who did. says that? <laughs> I mean, that's just I can I can just feel them vibes. Okay. I just know like whenever I go to certain places, I get a certain level of respect and things like that. So. Mm -hmm. um, but it's all off of how I carry myself on the daily. You know, so I don't never try to put on the front or be somebody I'm not. I don't care who I'm around. Like, I'm going to be myself all the time. You know, if I can't be T. Will, then, then who, who can I be on this earth? Uh, not nobody. Yeah. So. They love you. My family loves him so much. Like, everybody. Probably, probably more than me sometimes. She capping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but that's love though. And I'ma say this probably throughout this whole video. I pray for that. You know. That um, you know, God bless me with a with a great woman. And then also that, you know, that I have some cool in-laws, you know, that you come from a good family, a solid family. So it's pretty cool to uh, you know, have people that, that we can lean on here and there or, you know, have people that I can, you know, feel comfortable with dropping my kids off over at their house if they want to watch them or things like that. And definitely when it comes to the holidays, like Gigi throw down. <laughs> we be her, eating good. Her, her grandma, <laughs> Gigi throw down, Lynn be getting busy in the kitchen. And you know, those two women right there, they are uh, a major blessing to Desiree. Mm -hmm. I can tell just, you know, over the years, from since she was younger to, to you know, to her late twenties, they played a major role in her life, you know, helping her grow into the woman she is today, so. Got a lot of love for the two, two women right there for sure. Mm -hmm. So what is my worst habit? It's a trick question. I want question, you to be honest. Bro. No. Why would you say that? I don't know because. Ain't nobody know. trying to trip you up. That's bro, the question. It's a trick question, bro. She got me on first 48. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would like to know. Your worst habit? Yeah, what's my worst habit? Um. I say probably want to be a perfectionist. Oh yeah, that's that's awful. I want to stop doing that. Yeah, she like trying to just you know I'm I'm guilty of that at times, but she go she over overload with it. She O D with it at times. And uh, I be wanting my wife to have peace of mind, so you know we can strive for perfection, but we ain't gonna never be perfect though. So it's just, it's uh it's important to understand you know that concept. Yeah. I'm going to get there one of these days. Yeah. I got to wait on the perfect time, though. Okay, so what is my best habit? Uh, I know you're just running through the list of all the great yeah, things it is, about it, me. It is pretty tough. These are, uh, I should have, like, some multiple choice type answers, like all of the above or something. But your best habit? Mm-hmm would probably be, you're very clean. You know, mm -hmm. she like to clean up a lot. And, you know, keep the house clean, keep keep, keep everything clean in the room. Uh, got good hygiene, be smelling good, she be smelling good. Yeah, just, uh, you very clean, and I uh, I respect it, and I, I love that about you. Cause you know, I'm, 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 I'm a clean person as well. So next question, who wears the pants in a relationship? It's the question. I do. I wear the pants in a relationship. Terrell D. Williams. Okay. The man of the household. Why do you have to say your whole name like that? Your government. Because I haven't said it yet. And then, too, I just had to put a stamp on it. Like, just, just let everybody know. I'm not disputing. 
But we a good team, though. You yeah, know, I don't never uh, try to. Uh, I never feel like this is a dictator. Yeah, I don't never try to be on all, all, all this stuff. So the thing with us, if you can't already tell, we um, are Christian. We love Jesus. So we're all about order. So for us in our house, the man is the head of the household. The husband is the covering for our home. He is the husband. So by default, he is the covering of our home. And I have... I take nothing from that at all. So, yeah. That's that. That's that on that. Straight up and down. If you could get rid of one thing that belongs to me, what would it be? That's a tough one. Uh, one thing, I'd probably say, I can't think of nothing off the top of my yeah, head. Yeah, I don't, I'm just trying to think too, like any of. I mean, you ain't no materialistic type of person, mm -hmm. so. Stuff that you do own or have is like beneficial in some kind of way, spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, emotionally, like books and stuff. But I can't even really think of nothing uh, that I get rid of. Uh, but please believe um, when I when I find out or figure something out, I'll let you know. That man, it ain't nothing. Probably these uh, bro, you got these old dingy socks. <laughs> what? They like <laughs> what they call they like house socks. Like they like real thick socks, but they just a funny looking color. But they look funny. You see my things? Because them and then probably a couple other like articles of her clothing. But yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> if I can get rid of, uh, it won't be one thing, but I will put it in a group like some no, of her I clothes don't. and socks and accessories. What? Yeah, because sometimes like what would you do that for? I be having like. You know, style her up and get her dressed, bro. Now stop it. She got some. She got. She got a nice sense of fashion, but if but, I'm if I'm walking around the house and I'm being leisure, then it's no reason. Like I could still look put together, but it's no reason for me to put so much thought into what I'm about to put on. But when I step in them streets, yeah, it is. no, because you it's gotta not. look good for self. I do look good for self. Just and your husband. And I look good for you. Oh, yeah. You tell me that all the time. Just because I have on some sweatpants or... And I ain't even talking about around the house stuff. It's some stuff that she'll wear out. And she be thinking <laughs> she fly, bro. She really don't be fly. Wow. <laughs> ooh, like some... Ooh, them leggings. Um, <laughs> Those are compression yeah. legs. Nah. He don't like cheetah print stuff. Man, that stuff wet. And I got some compression leggings. It's them and it's a couple other ones, too. Okay. Like I say, articles of clothing. That'll be that's my answer. On to the next question. No, because I'm about to. You know, you don't just get to say. I'm finna defend myself. Hurry up for your youngest child. Wake up. And my cheetah print leggings. We doing this uh pretty late because we got the girls. We my, got my young kids. my young ladies. They, and, they sleep right now. That's pretty much the only time we can record. This, this is it because it's coronavirus season. For real, don't try. I'm. It's about that's almost them. No, you need to 30. let me defend my leggings. So the the brown cheetah pair, those are just straight up comfortable, okay? They're very comfortable. I have like full range of motion in those. I can bend down, pick up your kids. And they look stank, man. <laughs> Stuff be looking stank, man. Well, I mean, you know I don't stink. You just said that, so I'm gonna move on. I show sure am. What do we argue the most about? We don't argue yeah, we much. Really don't have many arguments. To the point of like arguments, um, intense fellowship happening at times, mm -hmm. or we just be on some like on some plan trying to trying to get our point across type of stuff. But I say w. something uh, because I don't argue at all. Like I ain't got time for this. It's positive vibes, huh? Uh, um, but if we do have some type of conflict or something, I say it got to do with uh, just the way things are perceived mm -hmm. through conversation. So communication at times. Yeah. Like the lack of communication, I say. I won't even say that it's lack. It's just. Yeah, it ain't the lack of communication. Cause we we come from two opposite worlds. Yeah, we I'm, totally I'm very analytical, and he just cut and dry to the point. And so those two can clash sometimes because I am over analyzing a lot of the things he says to me, and he just 
be boosting sometimes. No, I don't be boosting because it it's valid. Because it is. It's my perception. Right on, remember? right on. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's your perception, your truth. My truth. She said that all the time. That's my truth. Because uh, it is. But I say, just um, if we do have some type of uh, conflict or, or, or little argument or something, it'll be not off of what was said, but how it was said. Mm -hmm. But then once we get on the same page, you'll be like, oh, that's what you was meaning. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, that's what you was meaning. And then we really was on the same page all along. But we just, night and day, we two different type of people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, high and cold. Yes. But they say opposites attract. Who is more affectionate? Desiree Williams. I know. You're learning, though. Yeah, I'm getting there. You're doing a great job. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm getting there. You're keeping it. You know, I'm a dog. I, I, I've been a dog for a long time. Just, just, and when I say dog, not nothing negative, but just, just my heart. Like, I just really, I don't, don't nothing really phase me. Um, since I was young, ain't nothing really just bothered me or just got to me. So, uh, over time, they developed some type of aura to where, you know, um, to where I have to learn how to be more compassionate and affectionate and, you know, soft and gentle and things. And for instance, like growing up, like my pop's name was D-Rock. And since I was fresh out the womb, knee high to the grasshopper, they call me T-Rock because I was just so solid. Like, you know, I just, uh, nothing really bothered me mentally and physically. So just over time, you know, I just have to learn how to be more, uh, as we've been married, just be more, you know, sensitive and affectionate in different ways. Cause I, I show I showed it, but maybe not how she received it at the time. What is something I enjoy doing with you? Everything. I really do. Oh, yeah. We can be doing anything. anything. You know, it really don't matter. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. Yeah, if we together, we cool. I mean, it don't it don't take too much of nothing. Uh you know, we live our lives. We don't get caught up in, you know, other people's uh, relationship goals and Stuff like that, you know, we do what make us happy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just going to the park or sitting down in the car, or, you know, taking a ride or something. I have done things I have never even thought about doing, you know, since being married to him. Um, I was on the back of a four wheeler. That's normal. I'm a country boy to the heart. I, I grew up I'm in from. the city, but man, I be with all that country life. I ride horses and everything. Rodeos and all that. I dirt was, bikes, four wheelers, fishing. I was picking dirt. Hunting. I'll be with all that. I was picking mud out of my fro. She alright. I was alright. It was a lot of fun, but I'm just saying that I was like, what is going on? Yeah, she do a great job of that too. I will say, you know, she, just as much as, you know, I'm learning from her, she learning from me. And we starting to get out of our comfort zone to, to you know, help one another grow in different ways. So. I will say that she do, do a good job of adjusting to, to my lifestyle, how I like to live and things like that as far as just, you know, being an outdoorsman, you know, being out in nature. She she real clean and she like she don't like to get dirty and they be they be like they be driving me sometimes, bro. Hey, but it's yeah. cool because like both of my daughters, they just like they don't know nothing about them either. So she she out number three to one right now. As yeah. far as just uh, yeah, they love animals. As far and as just that, 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 that country, that country lifestyle. I got some cowgirls, and I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a country boy to the heart. So yeah, them your kids. Who is the funny one? I'm funny because I say me. Mm, I said it too. Because I just like to laugh. I like to uh, you know, I like to joke. Cause you gotta laugh in life, you know. You gotta, you can't take life too serious, you know. Still be locked in and focused, but you know, you gotta laugh and smile in life because you know we only got one life to live, so you gotta enjoy it. And, he makes me laugh all the time. Yeah, I be doing some some funny stuff. Even when I'm stuff. mad, sometimes he can say <laughs> something, and I. Then be let me know she really don't be mad at me. No, I be mad. The stuff just be funny. It's hard to hold my laughs in. I have a hard time doing that. If I catch her smirking and laughing at some bro, she it's ain't because mad. it's funny. It's not. No, I'm going back <laughs> to being mad. I'm just, yeah. I'm just laughing at what you said in the moment. And then my second part of the answer is she funny and she don't be trying to be funny. Yeah, you always right. say that. She just, uh, 
Um, we goofy at times and stuff, but you know, some silly stuff. <laughs> you know that's your dance. That ain't my dance. <laughs> that's your dance. Who is more outgoing? I saw the answer about a thousand questions. It's okay. It's okay. Who is more outgoing? I say myself. Mm -hmm. I would say that too. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, I ain't never met a stranger. I love people. Everywhere I go, I'm comfortable. Uh, it don't matter what city, what state. If I'm in the suburbs or the hood, it don't matter who I'm around, millionaires or, or some of the OGs. Um, you know, I'm going to always be me, like I said earlier. Uh, and due to that, um, you know, God continues to help me to I have an outgoing type of, type of mindset and, 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 uh, and a free spirit, so to speak. So. Mm -hmm. Very outgoing. He he will have a 15 minute conversation with the Walmart cashier about the weather. <laughs> and I just be standing there like, if he don't come on. Because they're good people, man. I, I'm was, not, I, no, I respect, I'm not. I respect and love what they do. I'm not discounting none started. of that. I bet they are great people, but yeah. I'd be ready to go. I don't like small talk. You know that. That's why you're more outgoing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So the next question, would I prefer to stay in or go out on a Friday night? You a homebody, so I'll say stay in. Mm -hmm. uh, which is cool with me, because I'm the same way. I really don't be tripping about partying or going to the bar, clubbing or nothing like that too, too much. You know, it's cool to step out every now and then. Uh, just the people watching, you know, catch a vibe. But with Desiree, uh, I respect just how much of a homebody she is. I always tell her all the time, you a good, wholesome woman. Good, how I got me a good, wholesome woman, boy. And to me, that just sound oh, like oh. I sit around and cook <laughs> neck bones or something. <laughs> and potato salad. Nah, that's a blessing though, for real. I pray for that too, you know. But when we do step out, you know, we have a good time. Mm -hmm. And uh, she more so like for me to surprise her with an album, then her just wanting to just go out and kick it or step out on a Friday night. So if it's me playing the summer, surprising her with an outing, then she always down for that. But as far as just uh, stepping out on every Friday night or just stepping out on Friday, like she really ready to stay at home and drink some tea or, or, her little, or drink her coffee or something in her little robe. What is something I cannot live without? Who, you? Mm-hmm. Me? That's why I can't live without, without, without Terrell D. Williams. Okay. And I'm to that point in my life now too. Like I really can't imagine life without uh, without you around. I really love you. Me too. Yeah. Look at you mm -hmm. tapping in. All right, Terrell Williams. I use one word to describe me. You ambitious. Okay. Yeah, that that, that just trickle over. And, all types of to all areas. Yeah. Okay. What is my best physical trait? The best physical trait? Mm hmm Your mind. Uh that is not physical. Uh -huh. That is a physical trait. Your brain. That's that's your answer, huh? Yep, that's my answer. Yeah, I knew that's it. That's a safe answer right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So what is my best personality trait? The best personality trait is that you're very loving. Loving and caring. Yes, I am. And I noticed that, you know, with myself, you know, when that's towards me, and even more so with, you know, once we start having kids and stuff, I really saw like another, like, it just amplified just how, how loving and caring you are. So that made me love you even more just to see how much of a, you know, a great person you are. You know, on the inside. You're beautiful on the inside and the outside. They gotta take care of them babies. Mm-hmm, because they're gonna take care of us one day. Show sure better. All this work we're doing. Okay, you made it to the last question. <laughs> Man, I feel like I feel like I just been just in a in a in a No, you did good. Like I'm in military training or something. I don't know why this is the last question, but who is more likely to get into a fight? Man, you is, because you from St. Louis. 
Bro, she's so St. Louis, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Like, she, bro, she's so sophisticated and, and hood. Oh, my. She be with all type of, uh, she loves, like, little drama and stuff. We be driving. She see some people on the side, like, stop, slow down. <laughs> oh, we be oh, walking no. in the mall, bro, people arguing. She's like, what they talking about? <laughs> Man, go on that, somewhere. That is me being nosy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then the other day, we at Walmart, right? And uh, some lady like we we pushing the uh, the girls oh, around and they and, and, and uh and they strolling and some like some like lady kind of looking at one of our, our daughters like kind of funny like or something, but she ready to fight. But she like don't be looking at my kids no kind of way. <laughs> so here's the thing. So here's she got a backstory. No, I don't to have answer a answer the question though. That's right, quicker to fight. I got, you know I throw hands if needed. But I'd rather really not, because I'm a man of God, and, you know, I try to keep, keep it positive. And so she a woman of God, but she from St. Louis. She, 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 you know, so that's, they different out there. They be ready. They be, they be with whatever. That's the show me state. So here's the thing, okay? The Bible says when you accept Jesus, you take on, you like, you a new creature. So I don't claim any of that, okay? Now, have I done some stuff I'm not proud of? Sure. Is some residue still with me from that? <laughs> residue. Absolutely. So, yeah, I'm a little hood. I am. I am. But I'm um, I'm that grown. Too, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm grown. I have kids. I have too much on the line to be out here fighting with somebody. Like I will. I will call the police on somebody. Before I sit, <laughs> before I sit up, like, since you're going to jail, like, I'm not going to fight anybody. Someone call 911. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. Introducing you all to my sweet husband. So, you have any closing remarks, babe? First off, it's been an honor to be on the Desiree show. <laughs> Nah, this funny to me because I don't, I really ain't never did too much nothing like this, and uh, she be helping me get out of my comfort zone. So that's that's one reason I love her. We helping each other grow in different ways, and you know, learn to like different things. Um, but number one, you know, God is great. So lock in, you know, spiritually. Um, if you haven't already, and if you are on the path of righteousness, um, just stay motivated, man. Stay encouraged. Keep that fire. Uh, and, you know. Um, troubles don't last always, so just always remember it's positive vibes only. And uh, once you learn to keep a positive mindset through the ups and downs, the highs and lows in life, uh, man, you obtain so much peace of mind. So that's what I'm big on, man, just just having peace in your life and, and joy and happiness. So that positive vibes only mindset and mentality, you know, it'll take you a long way. It's been cool to be on this on this uh, this questionnaire, aka interrogation. Um, and, uh, it's not interrogation. It's not interrogation. No. <laughs> I'm sure all over here sweating. Nervous, boy. I'm oh like, bro, I don't want to say the wrong answer. But I was genuine with my answers, though. Um, I was 100. You did good. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Just working on getting better. You know me. Yeah, it was it was a joy, man, to uh, tap in with y'all. And um, if y'all haven't already subscribed to Desiree YouTube channel, uh, she got a lot of cool content coming in the near future. And she already got a a good number of content already for y'all to check out on the health and beauty side of things, you know, with her being a hairstylist, cosmetologist. And we got some big plans, you know, for the future. Um, and guys just continue to order our steps. So, uh, you know, we're just taking it one day at a time. And it's just amazing just to, you know, be able to check off of one goal after another. You know, for instance, uh, just purchasing our new home, uh, first time homeowners. Just doing our best to, best to build generational wealth. That's something we big on right now. And it's not even about money or finances, you know. It's more so a mindset you pass down, you know, from generation to generation. And then if you're teaching them right, they're gonna be able to go get the bag or do accomplish whatever they want to do. So, but uh, man, it's just uh, feel good to be in our new home and, you know, settle in and watching the, the, our young ladies grow up and love on each other. Sonny Ray, Skylar Marie, uh, we love y'all. Y'all probably see this video 
My years from now. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for joining us today. If you have not already, please hit the red subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks again.